long-standing tradition for literally about a hundred years has been for new students who come to the Lambeth campus to walk through these gates when you first enter the college. It is great to have all of you on campus for our campus welcome this year. Uh, I am particularly excited that all of you have selected uh, the University of Memphis Lambeth to be your higher education experience, to get your degree here. Um, I don't know what the numbers are, but I think we are right around a thousand students uh, this week. Um, and so we... We are very appreciative of that. It's a, it's a great number, it sounds good, and we're glad you're all a part of it. And we will continue to grow. I think we've grown about 300% in the past five or six years. Uh, I'm Dr. Niles Reddick, uh, and just want to welcome all of you to the campus and just say a few words to you today and introduce some more folks who are going to speak to you. Um, but the University of Memphis is driven by doing. It is involved, it is our involved community of students, faculty, and staff which come together in and out of the classroom. As you all know, the University of Memphis Lambeth is a special place and today's campus welcome celebrates our campus community and provides us with the opportunity to welcome everyone for a new year together. Throughout the history we have been driven to achieve, there are many experiences in which I hope you will personally be driven to do as well. And some of these will include in selling in the classroom. Any of my students here, I, I just taught a class this morning, an honors class, and, and so the honors students are not present. This is not a good sign for the honors students. Um, getting involved in activities or programs that will help you build important leadership skills, you need to be successful in our global society. Using the campus resources such as tutoring or participating in an internship so that you can achieve your academic goals. And, and I just have to say to you, if you have any difficult, we are here for you to be successful. We have free tutoring services available. We have a writing lab available. We have a math lab available. If you struggle in any area whatsoever, you need to go take advantage of those free services. We put them in place for you to be successful. Going out of your way to understand a perspective that is different from yours. Really seek to learn from our valued campus diversity attending campus events, both here and in Memphis. There are opportunities for you to attend Tiger Athletics. How many of you knew that? You can go to the games. You can absolutely go to the games. We're all going to some of the games. Uh, Beth Ann will tell you about that in a little bit. Um, there are in exciting things in store for the University of Memphis this year with respect to athletics. You also have to, you, you also will have access to outstanding plays and art exhibits on both campuses. We have two visiting writers who will be here this fall. We're working on an art exhibit for you with the museum in Memphis this fall. All of these things are free and that you should take advantage of. There are also things that will help you do what you want to do and achieve the things you want to achieve. For the class of 2022, which is what most of you are, and all new students, today starts your life as a Memphis Tiger. We're here to help you succeed. We know you have great plans and you can count on us to help you. One of the unique things about the University of Memphis Lambeth is the chance to make connections. And that's a big part of your college experience whether you are a brand new student, a student who has been with us a couple of semesters, or even a senior preparing to graduate this year. I want you to be engaged in your campus community, and I want to engage with you. If you are engaged on social media, how many of you are on social media? Well, I guess I have to say which social media today. Um, you can find the University of Memphis on Twitter. You can follow me on Twitter. 
You can get on Facebook and follow us on Facebook. You can even follow President Rudd on Twitter. Uh, and he tweets quite regularly on a daily basis. He actually sends more tweets than I do. Uh, I think you will enjoy his tweets. Uh, the goal of your journey here is first and foremost to learn, but just as important as learning is the goal of completing the journey, in other words, graduating. Our provost and my boss, Dr. Karen Weddle West, will reinforce the university's commitment to helping you realize your goal of becoming not just students, but also graduates of the University of Memphis. And I will share with you that just two weeks ago, before school started, the University of Memphis, Lambeth, hosts the football team for the past three summers for their football camp. So how many of you are in Kearney Johnston? Okay, so some of you had football players in your room before you moved in because the building is pretty full <laughs> with the football team and the staff here. So they did their scrimmage game on a Saturday we had almost 1,500 people on this campus, and that included students, it included the players, it included faculty and staff, it included alumni. We actually met with alumni and had lunch with alumni. People who came to the University of Memphis or even to Lambeth um, 50 years ago had come back to watch the Tigers scrimmage on the Lambeth campus. So there are lots of activities going on. Uh, and we want you to be engaged with all of those activities. Uh, I hope to see you around campus. I hope you'll engage with me on social media. And I would like to invite our provost, Dr. Karen Weddle West, to the stage. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. What a beautiful sight. I was just sharing with Beth Ann and Dr. Reddick that. It's extraordinary to see the room this full. I think this is about as full as we've seen it. So I'm glad that you all have come, both new and visiting and existing students. Uh, and I want to thank the faculty in advance. I also want to give uh, a particular word of thanks to Dr. Reddick. Uh, he, as you can see, is a fairly humble man. But when he talks about a 300% growth in enrollment, that's been under his leadership, under his purview, through his direction, through some of his vision, through his activities, certainly with the faculty assisting and the staff. But join me for a moment just to thank Dr. Niles Reddick for helping to bring them, but there we are. I am indeed happy that you're ready to make the University of Memphis Lambeth all that you want it to be. We know you are academically driven and prepared because we've looked at your data as you have come in and your data show us that you are presenting some of the highest uh, high school GPAs and some of the highest ACT scores that we've seen. So we know that you're academically prepared to do what you need to do to be successful and that importantly, you know that your goal is to obtain the degree. It's my responsibility to talk about the academic success of students at the University of Memphis and fulfilling those responsibilities is the first step toward graduation. Some of the most important and influential people you will meet at the University of Memphis are the faculty. Your faculty are important connections for you. They connect you not only to learning in the classroom, but they are also connecting points with the academic departments at Memphis. I would like to take a moment now to introduce you to your faculty at the Lambeth campus. Faculty, would you please stand? Yes, turn around and look at who your faculty are. They are the most important people outside of you at the University of Memphis. The academic enterprise would not exist without you and certainly without the wonderful tutelage of the very, very highly qualified faculty that we have at the university. As chief academic officer, it's my responsibility and privilege to oversee and provide for the teaching, research, and learning resources that will inspire and challenge you to get things done and to be driven by doing. One important initiative that has been implemented university-wide is our philosophy of complete to compete. Simply stated, complete to compete means that you will do the right things to earn your degree, 
and in order to be competitive in this demanding and global society. While there are many things that you can do here at the University of Memphis that will help you complete your degree to compete in this society, allow me to share a few tips to help all of you complete your degree and make sure that you are the most marketable and competitive when you seek your career. For example, it might seem that you save money by only taking four classes, which would be 12 hours. Many students think that they should start off by the, taking a light load, and let's go with four courses or 12 hours. Now, if you space those classes over five years, which is what most of you will do, it will take you longer to graduate, uh, take you longer than 2022 to earn this degree. If you took five courses a semester, you also actually save money. So for each course up to 12 hours, you pay $300 to $500 more per credit. But after 12 hours, you pay about $80 per credit. You do the math, either 300 to 500 or 80. You actually save money by taking 15 credits per semester and you're closer to graduation. So keep that in mind as you are matriculating and completing your schedule each year. Aim for the 15, aim for the 15 or more each year. Also, there are opportunities to learn more about the major you think you might want to pursue or to discover your major if you're still considering what you want to do. You have direct access to faculty here. Talk with them about your plans. And also be sure to take advantage of the Career Services Center here. Dr. Reddick spoke to the tutoring, but it's just important for right now for you to begin to think about the career and how the particular experiences at the University of Memphis, both inside and outside, will help you reach that career. Always use these resources and take advantages of opportunities to make special connections, such as study abroad programs and internships. Dr. Reddick and I, and some of the, Dr. Hopper, and perhaps even uh, Dr. Robinson, didn't have wonderful opportunities when we were in school to take lots of study abroad. Um, so, but you do. Take advantage of this opportunity. There are so many wonderful things you can learn by visiting another country, visiting in another state, obviously, understanding the culture and the rich texture of each of these areas, and they actually lead to higher levels of achievement. We found that as well. These are just a few examples. We know that are different ways for all of our students to be successful. We assure you that there is a pathway for you here. You're starting here at Campus Welcome Day. Each of you in this room will create your own destiny in connections and partnerships with classmates, faculty, and staff. We assure you that you will find your way. But as you create your pathway and make your connections, you'll see what's right for you and make the most of your experiences as you move along your path to achieve your goal, which is graduation. Now, even though this is a welcome back for everyone, I'd also like to take a moment to focus on our new students and welcome them in a special way. Students who are new to the University of Memphis this fall, please stand now. All new students, those of you who walk through those gates, stand now. Let's thank you. Look around you and welcome each other and let's say thank you to our newest Tigers. New students, you received a key to the campus when you entered the gates today. This key is your key to opening doors to opportunities. Use it often to help you make connections, engage in campus life, and become a tiger driven by doing. You also received a tassel. This is my favorite. I remember, now I did and was able to do that back in the old days, Dr. Reddick, when I came to my first orientation at another university that I can't mention at the University of Memphis. But, uh, so I want you now to look, take your tassel and look at it carefully. Hold it up for me. Hold your tassels up. They're in your bags, I believe, if you had bags or they were given to you. And this is a symbol of what does it symbolize for you? Somebody just shout it out. It symbolizes what? Completion and graduation. It symbolizes graduation. That's what your tassels always symbolize. At graduation, you'll be asked to turn it from your left to your right to signify that you have completed the journey. It's very important that you use this symbol to help motivate you and drive you at times when you feel like you should be doing something else and to focus on your long-term goal. So take your tassel now and hold it up and repeat after me. This is my goal. 
I will graduate from the University of Memphis, hopefully in 2022. Okay, so that just means some of you are so smart you're going to get out in 2021. Uh, others of you might have to stop for a moment. Life does interfere. We want you here. We delight, I always say this, we really, really love nurturing you during your time here, but we delight in launching you whenever you need to have be launched. So put this tassel where you will see it every day. For most of you, that's your phone. Put it on your phone. Uh, for many of us, put it in your rearview mirror and let it serve as a reminder for you that you will wear it one day with your cap and gown when you see, receive your much-deserved diploma from the University of Memphis. On behalf of President Rudd, the faculty and staff of the University of Memphis, we look forward to seeing you in class and around campus during the next few years and helping make your university experience one that is exciting and rewarding. Welcome again, everyone, especially to our class of what? 2022. And to all new students. At this time, please welcome back Dr. Reddick. Starting school for you will be a time of transition for everyone. Uh, all of the new students, continuing students, even faculty and staff. Uh, but I want you to know that you are entering a caring community of people who want you to succeed. Some of those ways will be through activities and organizations, and I will also encourage you to get connected in your major. Participate in your major. Participate in undergraduate research and consider internship and study abroad, as the provost said. Uh, all of those opportunities will complement your academic pursuits. Uh, you will have these opportunities even as early as this fall. Uh, here at the Lambeth campus. So be sure and look for information, talk to your faculty about the University of Memphis Lambeth Undergraduate Research Fair um, in the spring and watch for the e-newsletter for information about study abroad fairs here and in Memphis. How many of you have already checked your university email? I would encourage you to continue to check your email. Uh, it has been reported at times that only about 10% of students actually check their email. This is the official form of communication. So we, I will send emails uh, via Lisa Warmoth. Beth Ann will send you emails. Your faculty will send you emails. So be sure to check your emails. Um, it's just important to stay on top of that. Remember what you've heard so far, and you will be driven to make a difference in our community through your involvement in a range of experiences that will make your time here as a Tiger that much better. To tell you more about how you can take advantage of all of the exciting advantages that being a U of M Lamba Tiger brings, who better to tell you than a fellow student? And first up will be Dalton Tibbs, who, bring, who will bring you greetings from the SGA. And I can tell you, this guy is so approachable. You'll get to know Dalton, you will love him. Well, he has two names, Brent and Dalton, and we never know which one to go by. But just the other day, he and his girlfriend, so sorry, young ladies, he's taken already, uh, came by my office and we talked about a number of things. Uh, so feel free as you go through your experience here as long as he's here and your SGA leader, one of the SGA leaders for our campus, then you can approach him and talk, talk about any concerns that you might have. So please welcome Dalton. And since we're speaking on getting involved, uh, I'm gonna plug myself here, SGA. We're taking applications soon, so start off with that. Hello everyone, I am Dalton Tibbs and I serve as one of your SGA representatives. I want you to know that your SGA representatives are driven to do and driven to serve you in our roles within the University of Memphis Student Government Association. The entire campus is excited to have you today at the Campus Welcome 2018. So far, you have learned about our academic traditions and expectations and, and about how to succeed in college. You've heard about being successful academically. The Compete to Complete initiative demonstrates how getting involved in activities and using key services can help you succeed in your major. But there are so many additional ways to connect at the U of M. 
One of the key activities on your path to graduation is to find your niche. What is it that you will want to do when you're here at Lambeth? What is it that you will want to seek out and find? Get involved. This means finding things that connect you to your campus here at Lambeth. Maybe start a new sort of organization. Get involved in causes that you care about, such as helping fight childhood cancer or up till dawn. Participate, participating in community service events throughout our service on Saturday program. Maybe it's joining Student Government Association. Maybe it's taking part in leadership trainings like Tiger Leadership Institute or attending seminars about topics that matter to you. Maybe it's being involved in planning a campus event such as Black History Month or a concert put on by the Campus Activities Board. Maybe it's getting involved in the residence hall, joining one of our resident student organizations, hanging out in the Wilder Student Union, making a splash in the pool. Yes, we do have one of those with a really cool uh, gym beside it, so you all should check that out as well. And of course, attending Tiger Athletics. There are so many things you'll want to do during your time as a Tiger that there are a bucket list. Yes, 70 things every true blue Tiger should do before they graduate. And to help you get started, there's plenty going on this fall. Just check out the fall events calendar. Both the bucket list and the events calendar are available at the information desk out in the bistro and at the student services table at the RSO fair. Also, check the weekly e-news that you will receive in your email. This comes out weekly for all students at the U of M, and we'll also send Lambeth Campus e-news highlights uh, to you there as well. So essentially what that is is just things that you need to know both for Memphis and for the Lambeth Campus specifically. Making connections and becoming engaged are what make the U of M Lambeth Campus unique. Becoming involved in campus life, both in and out of the classroom, are part of what makes the U of M students driven by doing. Finally, when it comes to being a Tiger, supporting Tiger athletics is at the top of the list. All games are completely free to students, and we encourage you that you attend those whenever you can. Hi guys, how are y'all doing? Good, still with me? All right. <laughs> Good morning, I'm Rachel Somington, and I'm proud to serve as your president of Campus Activities Board, or CAB as we call it. Isn't that exciting news from Tiger athletes? Being a Tiger means supporting Tiger athletes, and we all have the opportunity to become a member of the Tiger Pep and Activity Council, better known as TPAC. You'll get direct involvement with game day experience and spirit initiatives. And if we aren't traveling down for the game, we'll be hosting watch parties from time to time to cheer on our Tigers from afar. Look for the Ride the Bus With Us logo to sign up online through Tiger Zone, our campus student organization and communication tool. This year, it's going to be so easy for you to attend some great games. For football, we had the Blue Line Shuttle lined up to take us to the Liberty Bowl for Parent and Family Weekend on September 22nd, when the Tigers face South Alabama. Then we'll take the shuttle again for the homecoming against UConn on October 6th. And then we'll have a couple of trips in the spring for what looks like to be an exciting season for Tiger basketball. New students, all of us have been where you are today new to campus and new to college. Each of us came here with different plans. Some of us weren't sure what to expect or where our paths might take us. We were all excited to be Tigers and to get as involved as we could. It doesn't matter what perspective you come to with the U of, to the U of M, sorry. What matters is how you seize opportunities and how you make connections. Your college experience is about opportunities and what you make of them each and every day. And what Sorry, and hopefully today's events will be a great boost to start your time on campus and help you embrace being a Memphis Tiger. Speaking of opportunities and connections, it's time for all of us, new and returning, to take advantage of that first opportunity to make a connection as official Memphis Tigers. Students, please stand and look to the screen as I lead us in reciting the pledge. So stand now. And please recite the pledge with me. I am a Memphis Tiger. I am dedicated to being the best I can be. I will honor our campus and its commitments. I aspire to finish my undergraduate degree in four years. I will treat others with respect and embrace diversity. And I will strive to be the best student and future alum of the University of Minnesota. Thank you. You may be seated. Before you know it, you will be graduating, just as these students have already done. Check out this video of advice from U of M Lambeth graduates from the class of 2018. To the class of 2022, um, my advice to you would be 
get involved on campus, um, and work ahead academically. Do not procrastinate or be afraid to make friends. Hang in there, because you can do it. And don't just study for your test, study to learn the material, because you'll use it again. Like all mountain climbers, their posture is set upward toward the summit, and I encourage all of you as you're walking up this mountain over the next four years that you keep your head up, and at those times that you feel weak, put your arm in the arm of somebody that's a good friend, a family member, a professor, and one of my best assets was my academic advisor. Get involved on campus and find student worker jobs and just have fun. Stay focused and always be responsible for your classes and your assignments because it's your degree, no one else's. Build relationships and don't be scared to meet new people. Stay encouraged, get enough sleep, and study hard. Be active on campus, get in res life, TLI, become an RA, Join groups, anything you can do to play a part. Study hard and always go for your dreams. Take the opportunity. You've worked hard to get here, so just take the opportunity to do everything you can to finish and to never give up. Just work really hard and remember, nothing, nothing good, good happens, happens after midnight. <laughs>Good morning, I'm Beth Ann Simpson and I'm the coordinator of student services here at U of M Lambeth. I think I've met many of you and if I haven't, I hope to soon. Um, so today you've learned a lot about driven by doing and how to be successful and about making connections that'll help on the path to graduation and in life. You've received a lot of great tips about how to get involved and how to be successful academically and you've heard about how important that is in your college experience. What I'd like to concentrate on for just a moment is those connections that we've mentioned and how they can be an integral and pivotal part of your life. Believe it or not, I began my college career where you are right now, sitting in a room um, similar to this, as a freshman at Lambeth University uh, a few years ago, maybe, maybe even more than a few. <laughs> Little did I know that one day the connections that began this very day that very day would bring me to where I am right now. While I was a biology and pre-med major, my decision to travel abroad changed my focus and when I returned after graduating, I was offered a job over the phone for a position here at Lambeth. This job to give back to my alma mater was a result of my involvement in student life and my student employment position in the office of the Dean of Students. It was because of those connections to faculty, staff, and this community that the girl that said, oh, I'll never stay in Jackson after graduation, returned to take a job that became one of her greatest passions. My courses, my leadership positions, my living on campus experiences prepared me for that first job. Although difficult to be a part of the closing of Lambeth, it was then in those moments of advocating for students and counseling them through adversity that I discovered that it, what, it was, what I was meant to do and that this is where I was meant to be. But the connections don't stop there. After knowing I loved this work, I continued my education with a master's degree from the University of Memphis in higher education. Those faculty and colleagues helped to sharpen me as a professional to make this a career one I can grow and progress in, and one that aligns with my passions for serving this campus, this community, and most importantly, you, the students. So during my years as a student at both Lambeth and Memphis, I never dreamed that one day all those connections um, would eventually intertwine in a very special way. So here you are now on this special ground that holds rich heritage, um, and you have the opportunity to make your own connections and continuing to drive this campus to be uh, more than it is today. So officially welcome to the University of Memphis Lambeth in a new academic year. And as you begin this year, again, I just reiterate, um, take advantage of the programs, services, and events here at Memphis and be a part of traditions like today. And it's through those experiences that you'll make your own connections and your own path to reach your dreams. And speaking of traditions, there are certain things that come with being a tiger, and one of it is singing favorite songs. And so if any of my student leaders in the room um, stand up, Bree, if you'll come on down, we're going to lead them. If everybody would stand, we're going to lead in a, fam a favorite Memphis song, which is I'm So Glad.
If you can't tell, I was a cheerleader in high school, so that's right up my alley. Um, today is about learning more about taking the chance to get involved and what that might mean to each of you. And one of the groups I just want to quickly highlight is just all of our student leaders that you've met either through the summer, your orientation guides, if there's orientation guides here present, or your involvement ambassadors that you met at Frost Fusion, your RAs, your other student leaders that you'll meet at the RSO Fair. So if there are any student leaders in here, if y'all will stand and let's thank them for all their hard work in preparing for this day. Is there any others? Rachel? <laughs> They're probably... They're probably getting ready to um, assist you outside um, with the RSO fair, and I want you to make sure you're taking advantage of the things that are offered there. We're going to feed you a free lunch um, for our annual picnic on the quad, but then make sure you, you browse the RSO tables to see um, leadership and service opportunities, academic-based groups, social, faith-based groups. There's also a special blood drive table because we are in a competition with the institutions in this area, and we need to win. So make sure you stop by the blood drive table. Um, but just take advantage of finding your niche and where you belong in the University of Memphis Lambeth. Um, another thing I want to mention is as you're leaving here, there are going to be tables to pick up your um, special uh, campus welcome t-shirt with our traditional gate ceremony symbolism on the front. I want you to grab those and then we're going to take your class of 2022 picture um, and we'll have some people to lead you to the Spangler steps to do that. So make sure you grab that t-shirt and head first to your Spangler Steps class picture, and then we will just enjoy being outside and the food and the fellowship.